Let's look at it from this angle. Every one of us has seen what God has done. Or has the understanding of what God can do. We know he's the ultimate. He's the Alpha and Omega. Omega, yes. Whatever he says is the final. Then, yeah. But on top of it, he look at all these things, referring to his statement that when he created us, it was excellent. He gave us ten commandments. He went ahead and even looking at the tarot mini, telling us what he would give to us. And telling us what will happen if we did not do the right thing. But yet, we human beings will go ahead and do what is not. It is not limited to one person or two persons. It is every one of us. But what we are saying is that today, that Jesus Christ, that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, are we going to make a resolution in that wise? Because we are no more a baby now. We are no more being fed with milk and honey. We are mature enough to eat solid food. And Bible made us understand that people who eat solid food are mature people and they must behave in a mature way. Look up. He told us that if you know me and you've tasted me and you cannot do my wishes, it is just too unfortunate. Every day, we, like we Celestines, when we ring the bell from the start of the service, we will say holy, holy, holy to the Lord of hosts. Who do you think that says that? That can be found in Isaiah 6. Let's look at it from verse 1. Yes. Yes. we have to there is need for resolution 
when you are writing your New Year resolution. Don't let us just be saying what is not when we do not observe what we are supposed to observe. Hallelujah. 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 Let me see first 20 verse 7. Yes. Sanctify yourself therefore. Sanctify yourself therefore. And be holy. And be holy. For I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. And you shall keep my statutes. Yes. I am mm-hmm. the Lord who sanctify you. Thank you. Our mind is so fast to say holy, holy, holy. So let us look at it critically. These are the areas we have to look at. Like I used to say, we are no more a servant, but we are children of oh God. God. Yes. Before the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, everybody on this earth are what? A servant. But by the virtue of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are no more what? We are no more servant. If you go to John 15, uh, verse 15, it is clearly clarified. John 15, 15, John 15, 15. Let's click, quickly look at it. Mm-hmm. I call you not servant. Servants know anything before God. I call you what? Friend. Mm-hmm. All things that have heard of my father, mm-hmm. I have made known unto you. Mm-hmm. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Thank you. you. Thank you. And Thank you. That's okay. okay. If we are not servant, must we behave like a servant? And if we are friend of God, as He called Abraham, or He called us as, child, as His own children, must we not behave like the children of God? These are the areas we have to watch in this new year. go to uh, the first lesson that was read to us today. Let's start from verse 1. It came to pass. It came to pass. In the days of past, yes. The son of Jonathan. Mm-hmm. Joel, the son of Boaz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. King of Judah. Mm-hmm. That the rest of the king of Syria. Mm-hmm. And Peter the son of Ramalia. Mm-hmm. King of Israel. Mm-hmm. Went up back toward Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. To war against him. Yes. But could not prevent against you. Mm-hmm. And it was told the house of David, mm-hmm. saying, Syria, Syria is confederate with Ephraim, mm-hmm. and his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood had moved with, him, with, him, with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to me, as thou hast shared thy um, song at the hand of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller field. And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet. Fear not, neither be fainted, faint, faint-hearted. For two toes of this smoking fire bread, for the first anger of raising to Syria, and the son of Ramalia. Because Syria, Ephraim and the son of Ramalia, have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah, and rest it, and let us make a breach near him of us, and send a king in the midst of thee, even the son of Tabi. That said the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the end of Syria is Damascus, and the end of Damascus is risen. And to leave thee to be score of and five years shall Ephraim be broken. But it be not a people. And the end of Ephraim is Samaria, and the end of Samaria is Ramalian's son. If ye will not if ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. Moreover, the Lord speak again unto her, saying, Ask thee the sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But as said, I will not hurt, neither will I tempt the Lord. And, the, and he said, Get in now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you 
to be weary men, but we ye weary by God also. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Your invention shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Thank you. Look at it from this angle. Now, the king of Israel and the king of Aram polluted to fight the king of Judah. Now, then God sent Isaiah to the king of Judah saying, it will not, it will not happen. And that he will fight but he told king of Judah and said ask for son he said no he will not do that then God asked from him will you be so faithful to men and also be faithful to God hmm. in the first place the king of Judah would have been one of those kings that the Almighty would have refilled the bag of our Lord Jesus Christ. If he has knelt down and asked for sin, I mean asked for sign, he's not going to say it in the public, but he will kneel down and say, okay, God, give me the sign. And the sign will be given to him that our Lord Jesus Christ will come into this heart. But he did not do it. Now, because of the problem of King Israel and the king of Aram, he was loaded with problem. He was so fearful to the human beings and so fearful to the God. And what did God say? God says, you can only respect human beings and you must fear me. So, God will not share his glory with anybody. That's right. You cannot fear human beings and also fear what? Fear God. You cannot do that. You must respect human beings and do what? And fear, fear God. God. Yes. Otherwise, These things we are saying will have been revealed to him. And he will have asked for sign. And the sign will have been given to him that a virgin will conceive and be a child that will be called Emmanuel. So, the issue here is that you must fear your God. Forget about whatever anybody wants to do. But give respect to whom respect is due. Do, yes. If we look down, we will discover that it got to a stage. I think it's in that um, Isaiah 7, uh, maybe around um, um, 17 or so. 